The photographer's gonna meet you on the west side of the building. 4.30. I'm still seeing too much magenta. Professor, congratulations again on the research grant. This is such exciting news. The JavaScript isn't loading. We're putting together the story now, and I'll reach out again for some quotes. The groundbreaking starts at five. I'm gonna have to see you there, okay? I'll see you there. What the? Okay. That'll do it for Cole's tower. I think, I think we could still go bigger on this one. Wow, all, all of you, hello. It's urgent? Okay, let me just take some notes. Mm-hmm. Too much, you're saying too much? Got it. I'm on it, ASAP. You have a great weekend too. I know that you already know how to blow your nose, but we're getting a number of test results back each day from the Broad Lab that are marked as invalid, meaning there's too much material on the swab. For those of us who are not pre-med, by material, I mean mucus. Here's why that's not ideal. First, it means that we don't know your COVID status, which is like the whole point of this whole situation. Second, if you have an invalid test, you need to retest the next day. And if you miss that retest, it counts on your three strikes. So you're essentially increasing your risk of missing a test. Third, that means that the college spent time and money to send your snot to Cambridge. Now the money isn't the point. The point is, Cambridge is already snotty enough. You might be blowing your nose before you leave your room, but when you walk across campus and it's cold out, your nose is gonna protect itself from dry air by running. If you haven't gotten your test results yet and you're worried, you can always log in. If your test was recorded as invalid, it will show up at the top. Please don't blow your nose inside the gym. We got enough going on in there.